Hello and welcome again to our daily reflection for this morning, Monday. Continue to follow the theme of Thy Kingdom Come. Today we look at one of the most delightful letters of John and see how he shows us the God who gives and goes on giving. So here, here is this short reading from the first letter of John, chapter 3, beginning at verse 1. See what great love the Father has lavished on us, that we should be called children of God, and that is what we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him. And this is the word of the Lord. We only have to look around us to be confronted by the loving, giving God. He sustains the earth with regular seasons, predictable and constant laws of physics, and ensures that all his creatures have enough to eat. You will say in response to that, that there is famine and hunger in the world and has been since the dawn of history. But whose fault is that? Not God's. Humans are the ones that take more than they can eat or use. If all the food in the world was distributed fairly, there would be such an abundance that we wouldn't know what to do with it. Every day we wake to God's preservation. Everything we need, air, water, food, are all basics. But what about loving friends, warm conversations, hugs from our children? God is right in the middle of all those things, and our response to all these things must be gratitude. That God is so interested in his creation that he is willing to keep on giving and giving and giving. Our response to how God continues to give should surely be that we also should give and give again. Traditionally, giving has been categorised into three areas, money, talents and time. God gives abundantly of his wealth, gives us the whole world for our resources and with that space ex exploration, he'll be giving other planets as well. We simply need to sh share it around fairly and maybe those of us in the developed countries could be more generous to those who live in poorer countries. Or even those of us who live in leafy Formby could persuade the commercial and financial giants to be more open-handed with those who live in depressed areas of our land. God gives his considerable talents, creating and sustaining all the life around us. The beauty and glory of the countryside the charm of the wildlife, the songs of the blackbirds, the magnificence of sunsets and starry nights. He gives each of us talents that sometimes we recognise, such as the ability to sing or draw, write poetry or dance, but also gives us the hidden abilities to be hospitable, to be open-handed, to know how to come alongside people who are hurting, in our giving to others, often we forget that it is the little things that matter. The phone call to the lonely person, the baking of a cake for someone who is ill, the invitation to the newcomer. And God gives off his time. God sees each newborn baby and wants to be his or her friend. For that child to grow up to know God as his or her personal Lord. And God will stand alongside that person, whether they recognise him or not. God will never give up. He always hopes that they will turn to him and ask him into their life. It took a long time for God to get my attention. He kept dropping hints, being there when I turned in his direction. But it was in my thirties before he finally got what he wanted. And he never gave up never decided not to bother. So today, in response to God, in response 
to God's giving, what shall we be giving to him? Last week, I was in the front garden chopping down the ivy and chatting to the neighbours that passed by. Maybe I'll be doing a bit more of that, offering my time and listening ear to those that are lonely and enjoy a casual chat. I have family birthdays coming up. Maybe I can get a card and wrapping paper from a charity shop. Or I have one of the online charities that I can get a present from. Just because God gives so much doesn't mean that what I give is of no importance. It means a lot to him. He knows that we are in tune with him and want to work in his kingdom, want to be on his team, on his staff. God's kingdom isn't just a future goal. It has started already and we are part of his workforce helping to refine the way his kingdom is governed with equity, with peace, with love, with generosity. So let's pray. Thank you, Father, for allowing us to take part in the kingdom that you're setting up. Thank you that whatever we do for the good of other people, we do it in your name and for your glory. Help us this week to look out for those moments when we can serve you through our gifts and talents. Amen. Bye for now. God bless and we'll see you soon.